Good Wednesday evening to you and happy Halloween. I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland. As we head to the next few hours, none of us are going to be affected by too much of those widespread snow showers and showers here in the central Montana area and western Montana seeing more of those showers, snow showers staying in their area. Clouds are going to affect us mostly through tomorrow morning. A few isolated snow showers and lower level showers are expected through tomorrow morning, but those won't mostly affect the lower elevations, at least for that buildup of snow. We're tracking more of that in those higher elevations through Friday, expecting about one to three inches of snow in Marias Pass, three to five in Logan and three to five Kings Hill, as well as Big Belt. So any of these passes that are traveling through through the rest of the weekend, we're going to watch for this winter weather advisory because snow is going to start accumulating above 6,000 feet, about three to seven inches there. And that's for Cascade, Judith Basin, Broadwater and Mar County. That doesn't include Great Falls and those lower elevations. This is all above 6,000 feet and above 7,500 feet, expecting about 7 to 14 inches of snow. So we're going to watch for slippery roadways and reduced visibility when that snow is falling and winds are gusting up to about 35 miles per hour at time. So tomorrow, heading out the door, going to see more of those scattered showers right back in the forecast. And we warm up into those upper 40s, low 50s, which is very seasonable for this time of year. But we're continue tracking upper level snow showers and rain in lower elevations through the rest of the week.